Hello, Dr. Keith Johnson, America's number one confidence coach and Amazon best-selling author. I'm so glad that you have joined me today. I want to talk about celebrating the struggle. Yeah, don't you feel like sometimes that in life you have like this big dream from God and yet it feels like you just continue to face one struggle after the next struggle after the next struggle and you just see, seem like, man, when is the struggle going to end? I mean, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like my dream is so big, it's like I'm pushing this big boulder up to the top of this mountain. <laughs> and, and the more I push this big boulder up the top of this mountain, it seems like the more effort, the more strength that it takes. And I'm like, man, is this ever going to get easier? And isn't it true? We all wish that the pursuit of our dreams and the achievement of our dreams could just be easy. Well, here's what I want to encourage you with here today is the process to achieving success and achieving your dreams is never easy. As a matter of fact, struggle is the natural thing that you have to face on the road to achieving your dreams. And so here's what I want to tell you today. What is your attitude toward struggle? Now, since this COVID-19 crisis has come and, and all of these things have happened in the earth, I mean, everybody that I talk to is struggling in one way or the other. I know myself, I mean, I was told, hey, uh, you know, everything stops here today, right? You can't go and speak anywhere. And my whole, can my whole schedule just got canceled just like that. And I gotta be honest with you, man, it has been really difficult to think, here I am, I'm driving 100 miles an hour down the road, and all of a sudden this COVID-19 sitting in my seat in my Corvette and COVID-19 slams on the emergency brake. And I'm like, what you doing, man? Sl slamming on the emergency brake. And my car comes to a complete stop. And then everything in the car just starts flying everywhere. And now it's been a real struggle for me to put the pieces of the puzzle back together. It's taken a lot of effort. It's taken a lot of work because of this crisis. Now, here's what I want to give you, all right? Crisis, conflict, and challenge is really a part of life. Therefore, on the pursuit of achieving our dreams, we will have struggles, we will have obstacles, we will have things that will pull the emergency brake on, on us and we'll have to come to a stop. And to be honest with you, if I can, I, during this time, I, I went through a little season where I got negative about the struggle. I went through a little season where I got mad about the struggle. I, I went through a little season where I even tried to hide the fact that I was struggling. And isn't it interesting that as leaders, as people many times, we try to act like everything's okay, don't we? we say, hey, how you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> if you go to a church service, you say, hey, how you doing? I'm blessed, I'm, I'm doing great, everything's wonderful. Well, I like what my wife says. My wife says sometimes, she said, well, if you want to really find out how things are going, sometimes don't ask the husband, ask the wife. They'll tell you the truth. <laughs> and it's so true. And so we try to project sometimes, we try to hide the fact that we're even in struggle. But here's, here's what I've learned. That you have a choice when things are hard. You have a choice when things are difficult. And it's important for you to clearly define struggle. 
Because how you define something is going to determine how you feel about something. And how you feel about something, your emotions are going to set you in motion to produce your behaviors. So if you have a perspective about struggle that it's negative, if you feel that struggle's negative, you're going to feel negative. And then because you feel negative, guess what? Your behavior is going to be negative. Your behavior is not going to be in a way that's going to produce results in achieving your dreams in life. So, so meaning if you're pushing the big boulder up the hill, right? It, you got this big dream and you're, you're pushing, you're pushing. And if you start having a negative attitude about, the bo- about this big boulder that you're pushing, is that negative attitude toward the boulder going to help you or is it going to hurt you? Is the attitude about the the big boulder, is it going to give you strength if it's negative? Or is it actually going to weaken you and and possibly cause that that big boulder to roll on top of you? And so you see our attitude about the struggle. Because remember, success is an uphill climb. And with success... There's always a struggle to birth what you are believing God for. There's always that process between what you intend to do and the manifestation of it. And once you intend to do something, you set your intention. This is what what I want to achieve. This is what I want to do. Here's what I found. Disruption will automatically enter your life. Because you see, my friends, success doesn't give herself her crown to you easy. Oh, no, no, no. Success automatically throws roadblocks at you. Success automatically puts barriers in the way. Success automatically sends disruption, crisis, and conflict. All of these things. Because success just doesn't say, here, here's my crown. I know today we want to teach our kids that everybody gets the reward for even trying. But that's just not, that's just not the real life scenario, my friend. The real life scenario is, is that the rewards in life come to those who are willing to stay confident in the face of struggle and keep pushing to have the right attitude that no matter what I'm struggling through, it's all part of the process, and and I embrace it. I embrace it. And it's part of my process to seeing my dreams manifest in the earth. You know, today, uh, Michelle is here with me. He's recording. He's helping me record, but uh, his wife is pregnant right now and she's going to be having a baby in july and right now i'm telling you she they had an intention they they said man we want to have a baby and guess what they did what it took to have that baby and 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 now it's been it's going on about eight months and man there's a whole lot of struggle going on there's There's a baby inside, just like you have a dream inside. There's a whole, that baby's inside there. It's in there. It's moving. She's been struggling. That thing's kicking around. And, 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 but what? But she loves the baby. Even though she's in a struggle season right now, and trust me, in the next few weeks, she's going to go through a great struggle. She's going to go through a lot of pain. But what is she doing right now? Right now, she, she's not speaking to the baby. I hate you, baby. I can't believe you're doing this to me, baby. Baby, I don't like you. No, no, no. She's not saying that to the baby. She's honoring. She's celebrating the baby. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about celebrating the struggle. See, and she's got a positive attitude that, man, this is my dream. And this is part of the process of birthing what my heart desire is. And I've got to go through this nine month struggle to birth what I want in life. 
My friend, it's the same way. It's the same way. In order to succeed at anything, it demands struggle. And you have basically three H's, okay, in what you do with struggle. Number one, you can choose to honor it. You can choose to say, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. And, and, and be positive about that struggle that's going on in your life. Number two, I read an article the other day of this, this girl who got pregnant and she hid the baby. Nobody even knew she was pregnant. She's 16 years old. Nobody, she didn't tell anybody. She hid it. She, she, kept, she kept everybody from knowing about it by, by wearing big shirts. She hid, she hid it because she was embarrassed by it. The other way is you can hate it. You can hate the struggle and try to kill it. So at all times in our life, we're either going to honor the struggle, H, we're, gonna, we're going to hide the struggle, or we can choose to hate the struggle. But listen, my friend, one of the keys to achieving success that I've learned in my own life is my attitude needs to be right about the struggle or else it will weaken me. And I will not have the motivation. I will not have the energy. I will not have the right mindset that I need to achieve my dreams in life. And I, I'm going to tell you, it's hard on me sometimes because I love to succeed. I, I don't know about you. I hate to lose. I hate to lose at anything. I hate to lose, lose playing cards. I hate to lose playing games. I, I hate to lose money. I I don't like losing. I don't like failure. I hate failure. I hate it. I hate, I hate to fail. <laughs> and, and, and so I love when everything goes right for me. I love, I'm gonna just be honest, I love when everything goes right. I love when everything goes as planned. I set my attention and it manifests, bam. I love that. But what about when it, doesn't go like I want it? What about when I lose? What about when I fail? That's when my attitude toward the struggle is being revealed. And you see what I learned, my friend, is that I've got to have a positive attitude about the struggle so I'll have personal power. Now it's interesting that James in James chapter 1, verse 2, he, he says this. He said, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials and temptations, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. What does James tell us? James tells us, Listen, have a right attitude towards trials. Have a right attitude toward the struggle. Have a right attitude toward the crisis. Count it all joy. So when you're a person of faith, you're not intimidated by the crisis. You're not intimidated by the struggle. People who are confident say, says, bring it on. Come on, come on. You want to mess with me? Come on. They're not intimidated by it. They don't hate it. They don't hide from it. They say, bring it on. The children of Israel, they were all afraid of what? The struggle. They were afraid of Goliath. They were hiding from it. Think about Jesus and the disciples. Jesus and the disciples, they, they, they kept telling Jesus, no, 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 we don't want you to go to the grave. We don't want you to go to the cross. We don't want you to die. What were they trying to do? They were trying to hide from the struggle. They, they hated the struggle. Jesus said, no, no, wait, no, wait. I've got to go through the struggle because I won't achieve what I want to achieve on the other side unless I am willing to go through the struggle that I need to go through. 
Elijah was hiding from Jezebel. He was, she was, he was afraid. He was hiding. And instead of honoring and celebrating the struggle and going through what needed to go through, you see, when you hide and when you hate, you'll never have the right attitude. And that's what I learned in my own life. I learned to start celebrating the struggle. And because I celebrate the struggle, I have the right attitude, which gives me the energy to go through what I got to go through to manifest my dreams. Your attitude is going to determine how far you can go in life. But more important, my friend, your attitude is tested. Not when everything is going well. Your attitude is tested when everything is against you in the midst of that struggle season. Here's the good news. The struggle's not going to last forever. Just like the baby being birthed and being born. It, it's nine months, but it ends. And then you see the dream manifest and it brings great joy to the woman's heart, to the couple's heart, and to their life. I want to encourage you, if you're going through some things, don't, don't run from it. Don't hide from it. Celebrate the struggle because I want to give you a couple nuggets. Remember this, you are stronger than what you think. And the future holds things for you that you don't even realize at this point in time in your life. That's right. Your struggle is summoning you to step up, to lead, to be courageous, to stand up and be a role model. Your struggle is summoning you to create a life that's bigger, better, and brighter than where you are today. So embrace it, celebrate it, and move forward into your future. God bless you.